Hi guys, Arthur D here. Uh, here I am again to show you uh, one more video on uh, how to maintain your SSL, especially on the Ultimation faders. If you're an SSL Ultimation owner, you know these these faders need some some a bit of maintenance to be working 100%. And today I'm going to show you how to calibrate um, the Ultimation motors. Okay. Uh, what's the problem? The problem is uh, if you don't have uh, the motors uh, more or less exactly calibrated, uh, you might ha uh, experience some strange issues. Uh, for instance, like um, motors uh, sticking on the top when moving. Uh, wait a minute. Let me try to to show you. So if motor moves uh, and hits the the top of the track. Some of them might stick, they don't want to go down, or if it hits the bottom, they don't want to go up. And um, I never experienced this, but um, I suppose it is possible for the, the feather not going totally up or totally down. Uh, this happens because um, the, the, let's call it the digital level issued by the, sent by the computer, which is translated uh, by a control voltage that moves the the motors is not exactly calibrated and sometimes uh, the voltage overshoots the the the, um, the maximum level or undershoots and uh, and you have and you have a, a problem uh, how can you calibrate these faders uh, this fa uh, the motor of the faders um, this is calibrated through two trim pots which are inside the, the the fader package and you have to do this for each one individual fader uh, you are experience uh, problems okay um, the first thing um, you should do uh, is leave the console at least uh, 30 minutes on uh, because these faders have um, some uh, thermal resistors and they change the properties with temperature so it is important for you to leave um, uh, to let the console reach its normal temperature and normal behavior and only then uh, do the calibration um, how can you access the the the, um, the faders uh, the the trim pots on the faders you have two options one option uh, is to remove the knee panel um, below each um, each channel bay, and you can have access to the, to these uh, trim pots. And um, uh, but to be honest, I personally don't like it very much because it's it's hard to see the pots. Some pots are hard to to access. Uh, you have to have a, a a light and everything and it's not very practical the, the the only advantage of that is that the fader is stabilized and installed on the channel base so the temperature does not change very much uh, personally I prefer to use to take the fader out and to use the um, my ultimation extenders um, and calibrate directly um, through through this um, for this situation, for calibrating the motors, you don't need this. Uh, but if you want to calibrate the VCA, uh, the VCA uh, path with the ultimation path, you'll need this uh, because uh, these you can calibrate through three pots, and those you cannot access under the knee panel. You really need to take out the fader. So the first thing I will do is shut down the console and show you how to take the fader out okay see you soon hi guys I'm back I've just turned off the console I'm going to open the fader you will need a screwdriver and I also use a small uh, screwdriver has a tool to, to to carefully pull the fader out so first thing you need to do is take out the two screws you have on the fader Okay. 
take the cap out also don't forget to put it on isolation the the group just don't have any problems and then you use the small key just pull it and you just need to to use your hands to feel the feather is free and pull it again it's not yet sometimes can be tricky very tricky sometimes if you have another type of of tool to push it okay now it's gone okay it's out okay the pots I'm talking about are these ones which are VR4 and VR5 these are used to calibrate the motor and you can access through the knee panel these three which are used to to align the VCA path with the ultimation you can't access them you have to take them out okay so the next thing I will do is uh, let me show you just a minute okay. I'm gonna use the, the ultimation extender which I already have here I will connect it Okay, and she's now connected, and I will connect the feather with it. Uh, what I usually do is grab uh, some cardboard and and put above above the, the console, and you can now connect the feather long okay and you're done okay let me just something which is tricky okay you're done so guys i've just turned on the console uh for the calibration you will need a, a small screwdriver to reach the vr4 and vr5 pots be aware that the the fader is upside down so this is uh bottom and this is top okay uh, for this you will need um, the help of the um, calibration procedure on the computer I will show you how to, to access it first thing you need to go to the test menu so you hit exclamation test you go to the analog input test I and enter for all channels okay so this this uh, this screen shows you all the values for all the the faders on the console. These values go from zero, which is uh, the minimum, and uh, 1,023 for uh, the maximum. The goal of this calibration is just to set the the, the minimum value and the maximum value. And if you have this uh, fader uh, not calibrated, sometimes uh, these values are off and you can clearly see it. The first thing you have to do is to identify which of those numbers is uh, this fader. What I do is move the fader and you will see the value there moving, which almost the last. So you identify which one is it. What you want to do first is to move the fader to the top and check uh, if the value you see is zero okay let's check it on the computer i'm going to move again move to the top okay now it's 12. so we need to 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 change to to access vr4 trim which is the one on the right okay i think let me see if the camera can reach it which is that one and move it very slowly until you can get until you get the until you get zero. Okay, I'm going to move it. You need to really go slow because these numbers can go really fast, and you need to try not to overshoot, okay, or undershoot. Okay, as soon as you hit zero, you stop it. 
the next thing you do you move fader fully bottom okay you go to VR5 okay you, we are seeing 1000 it should be 1023 so I'm going to use the same procedure but uh, this time on VR5 okay and move really slowly okay almost there okay we are there okay if supposedly everything is now fine and you just disconnect the console and stick the fader in place and everything should be fine okay cheers on the last note for this video uh, just wanted to tell you there is a, um, a quick way to test uh, if all faders are working as expected and also to see if um, there are any faders that might need some some attention okay the first thing to test all faders what you should do you can use the wave test for the wave test I'm going to show you you enter the test menu okay you go to analog output hit O moving fader and hit wave okay no faders All feathers should be working and none should be sticking either to the top or the bottom. If you have any of these sticking, then you have a problem. Okay. The next the next test you can hit ends. Okay. The next test uh, is for is a way for you to see if there is any any feather needing uh, calibration and for this you will go again to the test menu Hit test analog output moving feathers and now you will hit all tests sorry all feathers and a to run okay what this will do it will move all feathers up okay and then it will move down if you see, if you see any feather with a red light okay okay this one might need some uh, calibration and this one also okay this is not not a, a very precise test uh, if i repeat it again let me do it again okay uh, sometimes the, the, the red lights don't uh, lit on the same feathers but if you see one feather that's consistent uh, on, on uh, leading the red light then you have to check it so here it is this one might need some calibration okay guys I hope this helps you and see you soon cheers